Hey guys, Jacob here. So let me introduce myself because this is my first video on YouTube. So I am Python developer and also I am software engineering student, uh, live in Berlin. I simply share my journey. I try to help others understand the code. Uh, I try to help solving different coding tasks and of course get a nice career as a software engineer. So I'm happy to have you here and welcome to my series. Welcome to uh, Python from zero to pro and let's begin uh, so first of all for who is this course so i would say it's for all of the beginners who has like zero experience with coding or it might be for people who already knows how to code but they want to specifically learn how to code in a python uh, also i would suggest to uh, if you are intermediate and you want, want to remind yourself of a little bit of Python, I would suggest you can watch this video of with the speed 1.5 or 2 and you will always maybe learn something new. Alright, so right now let me tell you about the benefits of this course. So first of all, uh, you will obviously learn basics of Python, which is uh, one of the most popular programming language right now in the world. So second of all, you can ask the questions and me or the community will try to help you. Third of all, you'll be able to apply for the internship to companies because if you know the basics, then you can really apply for internship and get your first job as a Python developer. And the fourth, all the knowledge here is free and my help is free, so why don't you just use it, right? So what will you learn from this course? Uh, so first of all, uh, I, will, I will teach you the fundamentals coding concepts, uh, which are actually universal to any uh, programming language. But uh, I mean, uh, I will teach you how to store the data and how to manipulate it. I will cover topics like lists, dictionaries, variables, loops, so you will not have to uh, repeat your code, uh, but rather automate uh, some stuff. Uh, I will teach you if statements, functions, classes. Uh, so we actually able to uh, create a code which is uh, re reusable. You can use this multiple times and uh, in the end of each video uh, I will give you the homework so you can practice it and uh, in the beginning of the, uh, the new videos I will cover the homework solution and I will explain it uh, for you. Alright so those were actually the introduction for the course and right now let's jump into the code. Alright guys so let's install a Python uh, first of all, we're going to install the Homebrew, which is the packet manager for uh, Mac OS. Simply just copy this URL and paste it. And of course, uh, it's just downloading right now, installing itself. Okay, perfect. After installation, uh, we are going to install the Python itself, which is very easy because with this packet manager, we are able to just uh, simply uh, type the one command. But first, we, let's see if this works. So brew help, uh, it, it's like checking if it works. But yeah. Brew install Python, which will give us the newest version of the Python. My Python is already installed, but I have the old version. So we are going to upgrade the Python to the newest version. So simply the command brew upgrade Python will give us the newest version of the Python. Uh, right now I'm going to pause the video because it's it will simply take too long for upgrading the Python. So our Python is finally updated. The newest version is on our computer. And we're going to simply try if the Python works by simply typing Python 3 in our terminal, which will start the Python interactive shell. So we can basically uh, make some Python code here and execute it. As we can see, our Python uh, shell is working perfectly. All right, cool. Uh, right now, there's uh, one more thing which we need to do. Uh, it's installing the Jupyter Notebook by simply typing pit free install Jupyter. As you can see, our Jupyter is already installed on my computer and we're going to open the Jupyter by simply typing Jupyter Notebook in our terminal. And it will open the new uh, Chrome tab uh, with the Jupyter. And we are going to create a new file here uh, simply by uh, clicking Python 3. And as you can see, this is our Python uh, shell. 
in a Jupyter notebook. I, I love this environment and I think it's the best for this tutorial. As we can see, we get a lot of different shells here. Mm, we can create the new shells and execute some of the shells. We're going to simply create the uh, Hello World application and uh, run it. So we're going to use run cell, uh, yeah. As you can see, Hello World is displayed on our screen. Uh, as you can see, there are multiple uh, cells, so and we, we can choose what we want to execute. I'll cover the variables uh, in the next tutorial. Uh, this one is simply just by setting up our environment to move on. So this is basically everything which I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Uh, and I'm waiting for you in the next tutorial. I'll see you guys.